hello guys welcome to my channel quad group tv today we're going to talk about a vacuum leak so for bmw p0171 174 if you have a check engine light you get that code it means you have a vacuum leak so it's not just for bmw the p0171 174 it's for uh, all cars if you have that engine code light guys you are you are in the right channel and we are going to talk about that but if you are not subscribed on my channel please subscribe so you are updated with all my uh, incoming videos so we're gonna I'm gonna help you how to fix your problem so let's start the BMW X5 So if you have a engine light coming on and it's P0171 and it's related, uh, associated with P0174, so that means you have a, a vacuum leak, alright? So that's the first thing you're gonna do. So if you have those code, the first thing you're gonna do is to check check before you buy parts to replace it okay I'll tell you this is the first thing you gotta look you look for your oil, oil cap if you see some oil in there so it only means this oil cap needs to be replaced it means it's loose already so in my case this is my problem this is where my vacuum leaks coming from Okay, as you can see, I have a new one. I'll show you how to put it on and replace it. As you can see, there's a rubber right there. So what's happened is, let open, let's open this one. To find out, see, you see the oil, oil here outside. So that's where I get my vacuum leak. Okay, so for you. If you don't have, if your oil cap is good and you, and you still have those uh, problem, check your uh, bulb cover gasket. Check. Check right here if you have some leakage. If you have some leakage, then you have a problem with your uh, bulb cover gasket. needs to be replaced. So you're leaking somewhere in there. There's a vacuum. And then... It could be, it may be you have a bad uh, mass airflow uh, sensor. This is my mass airflow sensor right here. Basically the mass airflow uh, sensor, the air is coming in and then it's calculating how much, how much air is coming in. So if it's bad uh, mass airflow sensor, then you have to replace. But before you replace, you have to check your intake boot make sure you don't have any damage okay after that mass airflow sensor if you check and you don't have a torn or damage on it so you just want to make sure there's no damage you know or torn but you have to inspect okay and then once you remove this one, if, uh, if everything is good, there's another one to look for. You have some disa bulb right there, right here on the bottom. So check that one. Sometimes they need to be replaced. Or the PCB, it's like they call the oil housing separator. They have some tube in there. So that's the only thing you guys need to check. If you have this uh, problem, uh, P0171 associated with P0174 alright so now I will show you how to remove this one to replace if this is your problem in my case this is my problem so I'll show you how to remove it alright so this is how you do it as you can see you can just it's a different oil cap because it's a different model of car some is just like cut but this one 
he has some like a sleeve on it so I have to remove this one as you can see do you see this arrow right here and then arrow right here you just put together and then you just fry it with a screwdriver okay so after you, you, you replace your oil cap the new one you want to make sure it's tight and then before you start the engine make sure you clear the code after you clear the code then you can drive around and check if it's coming back or not if it's not then you solve your problem so guys that's how you fix your, uh, your problem for uh, P0171 I hope I help you to fix your problem so if you have a problem you can figure out please feel free to make a comment below ask a question if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe make a comment like and share hopefully I help you to fix your problem till next time Quattro Guru TV thank you